Hello, everybody. My name is Eric D. Johnson, also known as Brightshine. I live here in Memphis, Tennessee, which is in uh, Shelby County. And uh, today's date is uh, early Monday morning, July 14, 2014. And I'm going to date today's video with yesterday's date, which will be Sunday, July 13, 2014. And the time right now is uh, 1 46 a.m. And I want to first say thank you to all my fans and all my supporters for your continued encouragement and support. And I know it won't be long on this video. Uh, as you know, it's being that early in the morning. I got to be at work in Ameripride right here in the city of Memphis, state of Tennessee, County Shelby. At uh, 3:30 a.m. And uh, gotta be at work at a Pride right here, in, like I said, right here in Memphis, Tennessee, Shelby County. At uh, 3:30 a.m. right there on the corner of uh, Vance Avenue and Walnut Street. And like I've been saying, I'm trying to balance work schedule which is eight hours of work day eight or more hours a day and uh five days a week and i'm also trying to go to school at normal college online and uh as you know i'm studying uh, business administration concentration marketing and marketing and uh trying to earn my associate's degree like I said, I'm not going to be long on this video. And, uh, I want to continue to uh, make sure my papers don't fall. Okay. I'll just make sure my papers don't microphone cold. Uh, like I said, I want to continue uh, the brief. Not we long. We just want to want to say thank you to the United Nations. They do a, a, a outstanding work around the world to make it possible for every human being on this planet to live without being in fear of. Uh, being, being killed, murdered, uh, rape, uh, any type of violent uh, act to be committed against a person or a group of persons, irregardless of your age, your, your race, your nationality, your color, or uh, your ethnic uh, background even your criminal background, every human being is uh, considered to be a human being and has the right to be protected by law from any hurt, harm, or danger. And uh, yesterday on my uh, video, when we was uh, highlighting uh, campaign that the United Nations has uh, about child marriage and, and, and about uh, female gender mutilation and, and, and as I said on, on my previous video that uh, I myself personally want to see every human being have the right you understand have, have rights every human being because that's what you don't see uh, around the world is that every human being has rights every man every woman and every child have rights because it took many 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 years to like you know uh, yesterday we had the uh, world cup 
championship. You know, in, 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 in uh, football, here in America, they call it soccer. And uh, congratulations to the, to the, to the winner and, and, uh, and, and the team that did win don't have any reason to be, to be uh, sad or feel bad because you made it all the way. And that's, that's for all the teams because it was, it was all the nations around the world sent their, uh, their, 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 their football teams to compete in the World Cup. And it took many, 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 many years for the World Cup to see all the people around the world compete peacefully, peacefully in the World Cup. And it was because of the United Nations. We shouldn't uh, be naive and think that NATO did. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization can't do anything because the North Atlantic Treaty Organization is exactly that. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization is all these Americans, the Canadians, uh, the Mexicans, uh, the Europeans. That's what it is. It's, it's the Western Europeans that now include the East European countries. And they, they couldn't do that. Because you see all these dark and all these East Asian fucking Chinese, Vietnamese, Cambodians, Laotians, Taiwanese, Filipinos, Filipinos, ain't no way. Nowhere in North Atlantic Treaty Organization they didn't have all these Africans. Then you had down in uh, Central and South America, Mexico. Ain't no way. There's no way that the North Atlantic Treaty Organization could have ever, ever did what the United Nations did for that very reason. And we want to thank the United Nations for everything that they do. And, uh, You know, when you think about all the, all the, all the um, athletic organizations and all the act, athletic activities that the United Nations sponsors, uh, which is all the nations around the world, you really have to say thank you for uh, giving each and every human being an opportunity to be recognized and acknowledged as a human being. See, this is what the United Nations needs. When you see the World Cup, you see all the people around the world being acknowledged as a human being and being given uh, the right to live. You understand? Given the rights under the law. And when you come with, when, when you see, uh, not just in the World Cup, when you look around the world, and when you go to these different nations, like here in America, we have the NBA, the NFL, you know, the National Basketball Association, National Football League, uh, Major Baseball Association, uh, National Hockey League, uh, or the uh, tennis, uh, tennis organization, I think it's the WTA, World Tennis Association, uh, the PGA and the LPGA, the Pro Golf. Professional Golfers Association and the Ladies Professional Golfers Association. That's what you see. See, when you look at uh, these athletic organizations here in America and around the world, that's what you don't see. You see that there's a, there, there, there's a history of discrimination. And it took years of people struggling be able to, to be a member of these athletic organizations because the law was written that the people who are different than the Europeans and the Caucasians were not even allowed to be members of these organizations. See? And that's when, when it comes down to the law, when you talk about child marriage and female gender related, if you don't even have and you're not even being recognized or acknowledged by the law. You understand? Child marriage 
and female gentlemen relationship is not the only you talk about female gentlemen they, they'll just kill a whole they'll just kill a child hurt them beat them but see the, 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 the thing that you looking at you know you don't sit around and argue with a person about female gentlemen relations and the reason being is that many people are not even looked at as being a human being See, people don't even look at you as being worthy, you know, valuable. Your life don't mean anything. Man want no child because you have ethnic uh, conflict. You have nationalistic conflict. People different, different nationalities. People different ethnic groups. People different gender. Men and women are different. that the men are, are, are sexually and physically abusive. And that's not, when we talk about men and women, that's not just uh, uh, ethnic or nationalistic. That is a domestic situation. Every group on this planet has this problem where the men are accused of being physically, sexually, and verbally abusive to the women. In, this, in their own ethnic group, not the other ethnic group, but in their own ethnic group, in their own national uh, nationality, in their own color, you understand? And then you, then you think about a child, see, when you have domestic uh, problems where the men are being accused of sexually, physically, and verbally abusive to the women, and the women bear children. Telling that man about female gentleman relations is useless. See, he don't even look at that woman. She in the same ethnic group that he is. He don't even look at that woman as being uh, valuable. He don't care what he do. He rape her, he kill her, beat her to death. He don't care. See, and I'm not talking about a child. And then you talk about child marriage. Well, that, that's the same situation. When you look at the domestic situation, the, uh, the man, he makes all the decisions and, and all the choices. And that's the reason why it's important that each and every human being on this planet have rights. When you have rights, that means that the government can protect each and every man, woman, and child by law. And they need to be brought to court, formally, officially charged. You understand? And, and be punished by law. But you can also be rewarded. At the same time, one person can be punished, another person can be rewarded given a reward by the government. It's very important that if each and every human being on this planet have rights. And uh, you know you, you look at that uh, sports and things, the women that culture, the popular culture and things that, you know, uh, the music Musical entertainment, like myself, you know, entertainment and things of nature. Uh, it took many, 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 many years for people to be able to, to uh, see people like myself, African American, living here in the United States of America, and uh, then, then having the, uh, the rights under the law to be able to uh, live and you know, uh, be able to peace and harmony and just be able to live, you know what I'm saying, and to be able to pursue your dreams without uh, someone else who doesn't look like me or talk like me or whatever, whose background 
ethnic background or national background, racial background, is different. And uh, you know, you can very involved like the United Nations for everything that they do. Because if it weren't for the United Nations, uh, this world would be in a terrible shape. It'll be in a very terrible state. And uh, we see every day, each and every day that the United Nations is making this world better. You know, each and every day, you see UNICEF, you see UNESCO, you see the uh, United Nations uh, Commission for Refugees. And you have war around the world. And you have this place of uh, people living in refugee camps. The United Nations is, is trying their best to try to get us a little children, uh, an education in the refugee camps. And uh, there, that's the reason why I said NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, couldn't do that. Look at what NATO doing. I mean, excuse me. Look at what the United Nations doing around the world for every human being around the world. You don't, you don't get confused with the fact that NATO, the North American Treaty Organization, has a lot of weapons. Understand one thing, NATO, the North American Treaty Organization is just that. It's a treaty organization of the European, and that's their interest. See? And by no means do we get, get confused and, and make it seem like the North American Treaty Organization, they won't do was right. They, you know, they do for everybody around the planet. No, that's, that's not that's not it at all. It's the United Nations, all the nations of the world trying their very best to do what's right for everybody on the planet. It, um, like I said, like I said, uh, I want to thank the United Nations everything that they do, we want to give every human being on this planet rights. And that's what needs to be done about child marriage. If it gives each and every human being on this planet rights. The men, the women, and all the children have rights. When it comes to female gender mutilation, Give each and every human being on this planet rights. Give each and every man, each and every woman, and every child, every human being on this planet must have rights. And uh, before I end this video, I'm going to take a moment to continue my conversation and my talk about traditional African culture and custom. And uh, I have some words Start off this is is an M. It's a word that starts the letter M. And it's, it's in the masculine and in the feminine of the spirit. M U N A S H E. And it's in the Southern African uh, Sone. And it means with God. See, this is very important that in this reason why I try to select certain words in in uh, my list of words because we have this this issue that causes a lot of problems around the world about religious beliefs. And this reason why I was selecting many words that had it. It's a reference to God, like in the Southern African 
son of God. Uh, it means with God. It means with is in a masculine and a feminine. And it's a name that you know people name their child. And that's what they name their child. And it means with God. And then uh, the word uh, with the letter M. Uh, M means in the masculine. East African and it's why he and it means the owner or lord. Now this is an Igbo word. It's a feminine word in West West African Igbo. You know, it's the letter E. N-K-E-C-H-I-M-Y-E-R-E. Nikichinyiri. Nikichinyiri. And it means what God has given or gift of God. Now, this is the word, these are two, only these are two words. Start with the letter E. It says here, uh, it's in the masculine and the feminine. And it's in the Southern African. And it is in the Sosa. And the one word is N K O S A N A. In Kosana. And it means prince. Is the only word is in the southern area in the, in the Zosha. It is Echo Sazana. Echo Sazana. Echo Sazana. And it means princess. And then, uh, In the West African and the Igbo, there's a word in the masculine. In the masculine, and it means uh, it is Oma. It's in a man Oma, and it means the heart. Now this is a West African word in the Igbo. This is Yoruba, Yoruba word that's in the West Africa. Now this is in the feminine. And it's uh, spelled O-L-U-B-U-N-M-I. It's in the feminine. Olubumi, Olubumi. And it means gift of God in Yoruba. Now, in the, there's another word as in the Igbo. It's in the masculine and the feminine. And it means, uh, and the word is Oluchi. Oluchi. And it means God's birth. Now, there's a Yoruba word in the masculine. And it's spelled O L U F E M I. 
be done. We thank God. He doesn't know me. I'm more than an in masculine. O L U W A N E Y I. You Olu Wasi. You Olu Wasi. God made this. And all. And Yahuwah. There's a word in the masculine family. It's uh, spelled O L U W A T O. Why? I Olu what to me? Olu what to me? God is worthy to be praised. That's in Yaruba. Now, there's another Yaruba word. It's in the feminine and in the masculine. It's, it's spelled O L U W A Y E M I S I. Olu Y U W C. Olu. Why we see? And it means God, God honors me. I'm gonna stop right now. And all. Give me that time. I just I won't be long in this video. And uh, again, my name is Eric D. Johnson, also known as Bright Shine. I live here in the city of Memphis, state of Tennessee, in the county of Shelby. I want to thank all my fans for your continued uh, encouragement and support. And until my next video, uh, again, before I end this video, we want to support the United Nations. Their campaign we want to end child marriage and female gender mutilation on every human being, every man, every woman, especially every child, to have rights. To have rights. Until my next video, wish each and every one of you the best. Take care of yourself.